Hey everybody, you're watching Allison's Wonderland, the show that takes you inside the world of animation and games. Ooh yeah, it's fun and here, whether you're listening on YouTube or on the air. Hey, improv guys. You're watching Allison's Wonderland, inside the world of animation and games. Today we are here with a very special guest. I'm so excited to be sitting down with voice actor Frank Todaro. You might know him as one of the stars of the new Cuphead show for Netflix. He plays Mugman, and we're so excited to have him on the show. As well, Frank and I are co-stars on the amazing Crunchyroll animated yeah, series, are, yeah. anime, uh, The Vampire Dies in No Time. Check it out. Um, he's also been on a ton of Transformers series, so we're going to chat all about that. Thanks for tuning in. Share this with your friend if you want to. Put your hands together for Frank Tadaro. Jeez, oh, my face for radio. <laughs> you guys going to finally see what I look like. Uh -huh, I guess. I'm used see... to hiding in boxes, little <laughs> hobbit holes, hiding away from the world. But and all your, nice. like, tchotchkes and oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. What's, what's, oh. this, is the, this is a peek inside Frank's personality. Well, this just means I'm, I'm too indecisive for a tattoo. So <laughs> uh -huh. whenever, you know, say add something on instead of that. So I can take it off at the end of the day and wash myself. Yeah, it's nice. Ooh, is that yeah. a Kraken right? there that that is i believe that's a dragon a dragon yeah, a little crow over there yeah Ooh, you know, a bunch of little yeah there you go yeah it's a little a little bit of a dark side huh frank you know i only wear black it's just easier to match in the morning so i guess so yeah. is that true yes yes fun fact absolutely yeah. that's amazing it's all i own is all you own yes and black underwear too that's plaid, I guess. TMI, TMI. Is this that kind of show? <laughs> oh, hey. I was wondering what you do on the weekends. <laughs> this is a fantastic whiskey. Thank hey, you very thank much. You, cheers, thank you. Cheers, Nobody cheers. knows what's in here, actually. Glass, these, these cups are amazing. Thank you. I'm so glad you like the cups. Um, these cups were actually purchased at Disneyland. Oh, yeah. Um, I went there with my family and I saw them. And of course, I was like, oh, Al Allison's Wonderland. I just love Alice in Wonderland. But these were created by the artist Mary Blair. Oh, really? So she was the original um, production artist for, she did the production art for Alice in Wonderland 75 years ago. It's the wow. 75th anniversary. And so her, it's these fantastic. are her original sketches that they based the look of the show off of. And it matches the aesthetic so, of this uh, of the set. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's just nice. kismet though. Really we're here great. at Real Voice LA Studios at a, I was gonna like shout out the phone number. <laughs> you guys all might <laughs> call us now at three two three. I'm not sure. If you get here um, quick enough, we'll still be here. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, we love Real Voice, and um, they're very good to God, us. So, totally. but this, I did not create this. Mike Del Rey actually built this, hand built this. Oh gosh, so. it's gorgeous. Yeah, thank you. But enough about Mike. Let's talk Frank. <laughs> that guy. Frank, I, I met you recently um, at Pat Brady's retirement party. Yeah. And it's so cool because we are on the Vampire Dies in No Time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Sand. <laughs> oh my god, I love your character on that. I love the, that we get kind of have that little back and forth. Oh yeah, we of, have quite uh, yeah. the unique relationship. Yeah, yeah, unique relationship. Is a good, uh, that's a good way to put it. You're kind of in love with me. Yes, a little bit. Yeah. And I'm yeah. kind of in love with your cookies, sweets, and other treats. Uh, yeah, there's that weird like dream sequence with the shoe that was missing and stuff. Is this happening? It was like very Twin Peaksy. I loved it. I uh, was curious about that yeah. because then you saved the day potentially mm. Mm. on the astral plane. Well, yeah. Um, do you lucid dream or anything like that? Do I uh, do I like try to control myself mm -hmm. in the dreams? Mm -hmm. uh, not on purpose. Uh -huh. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Wait, oh gosh. Can't train yourself to do that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this episode's already getting weird. Yeah, Let's so get in there. So, what's your favorite? What was the um, the casting process like for you in the for the vampire dies in no time? For the vampire, I mean, uh, it was a uh, uh, shout out to Sam uh, over at CESD. He sent me that. Uh, that awesome uh, audition, and uh, I just, I, I don't know if you can tell, aesthetically, I kind of like vampires, so yeah. I just did my worst Bela Lugosi impersonation. I think the the actual sides gave, like, a list of, like, the Count from, uh, Count Van Count yeah. from uh, Von Count, uh, and every, like, cheesy vampire. Like, can you mix all these together? And I went all over to the place, and sometimes it gets scary, and sometimes he's a little bit over here. And uh, one of the things that I kept thinking of was uh, Balky Bartokamus. Oh. From uh, Perfect Strangers. Of course, Balky. Or Lodka from, uh, from, I'm sorry, not, I gotta talk into this thing. Sure, okay, surely I should uh, do that. This is a microphone, Frank. I don't know if you've ever worked with one before. It's the, but... It's the, uh, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like a lot of these, like, like a lot of from Taxi, a lot of these like fish out of water, uh, odd couple sort of situations. And oh my yeah. God, 
of all the animes, an anime <laughs> that's like a situational comedy where yeah. like, and these two share an apartment together without driving each other crazy. <laughs> and like, there's even kind of like a little bit of a, a Felix Unger there when uh, Draw Luke shows up in the, in the apron. He's a really good cook and stuff. It's, <laughs> it's right up my alley. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's so funny. It's yeah. funny too. The your Draw Luke character, one of the first roles I ever played um, for television was um, Cartoon Network's The Mr. Men Show and I played Little Miss Naughty. Yeah, cool. And she's like, sometimes I just can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they would be friends in real I, life. I think they would just maniacally laugh at each other. <laughs> <laughs> See, nice. Oh, good, good. Love it. A little more oh, tea there. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Blee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so fun. So <laughs> this is too has, fun. How's the fan response been um, to the Vampire Dies in No Time? Oh, my God. Some of the fan art and uh, and cosplay yeah. is, is sick. Yeah. It's just sick. Some some people actually get, like, the cell shading. Like, it looks like the cartoon with the lines and stuff. And, like, constantly impressed. Constantly impressed. Yeah. That, Guys, yeah. send me that if you, if you can. Because... No. Um, I do fan art Fridays on Instagram and oh, love yeah. to share that stuff. So oh, um, if you're out there and you're a vampire fan, you know. There's a lot of John. A lot of John. People love John. He's the best boy. People love John. He is the star of that show. He's the best star of the show. John, I yeah. think so. Yeah. yeah, he's the best looking one too. Oh, gotcha. He ain't too spectacular. Spherical boy. <laughs> yeah, so um, now you actually grew up in New York. You're not an LA boy. Yeah. So surprising. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, this is the Sunshine State. Um, oh gosh, yeah, not the I Midnight avoided. State. I moved here in 2017. Okay, and believe it or not, I've still not been to the beach. <laughs> not once. First couple <laughs> weekends, we drove the other direction, went up a mountain, tried uh -huh. to find some snow. You know, yeah, sort of get back to our roots. Literally, the trees. Just yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah. No, I went to the beach once. I'm lying. We went once because there was bioluminescent algae Ooh, that yes. was coming in. And yeah. it, like, was, it was glowing teal at the top, at the crest of the waves and stuff. It was gorgeous. Uh -huh. But it was at nighttime, so that doesn't count. It doesn't count. Uh, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm from Queens. Queens. Did you, were you born and raised there? Yeah, born and raised in Flushing, yeah. That's amazing. And you grew up as an only child. I did, yeah. Ah. That's why I'm a voice actor. Talk to yourself a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my son's an only too. It's pretty funny. Um, so what were your parents like? Were they in the entertainment industry at all? No, no. My uh, my father uh, is, uh, or he was at the time, a uh, contractor and an ar architect. Oh, wow. And he taught for a bit. And my mother is a science teacher uh, so for, for a good long time. Now they're retired yeah. and they moved upstate for, uh, you know, Live out up there. Upstate New York. Yeah, upstate okay. New York. Yeah, that's what upstate. I'm just going to say that as <laughs> if everybody knows what I mean. I'm just going to mention specific streets, which is weird <laughs> because since being out here, uh -huh. I have ended up working with people that lived a block away from me, two blocks away from me. We talk about In which comic stores we went to. Yeah, it's weird. Crazy. Like everyone just kind of yeah. repositioned I... themselves out here. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Wow. So Still what can't if... find a Kanish though. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll keep looking. Hmm. Please drop that in the comments. Yes, please. <laughs> so... Were you, what did your parents think that you were like born this performer? Because you've been performing like your whole life or at least a part of that, right? Good part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, very encouraging. You know, yeah. I mean, of course, there's always those like when you're going to get a full time job as a as a voice actor when you're first starting out. And you're like, that doesn't really work that way. But that's all parents. And yeah. they're very, very happy. Very, yeah. uh, very proud. Uh, you're my mom. One of those people that really, really loves his parents and oh, yeah, kind of kind of a family guy. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, As a mother of an only child, I love to hear that because mm. I just love my son so much and I hope he always loves me forever and doesn't go through that, you know, that phase. I mean, I know they'll be a part of that, but God, did I, you have I, a, I, a dark period? I forgot to rebel, mm -hmm. really. Like... <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess this, yeah, no, nothing really too crazy, you know, like yeah. breaking into old buildings and stuff, pretending I'm Indiana Jones, but not like actually <laughs> doing anything uh, uh, untoward or anything like that. I didn't even drink until I was like 19, I mean, I mean, 21 <laughs> years old. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was playing Dungeons and Dragons in someone's basement every Friday. We didn't we didn't really run around and nice. break things. And now, stuff, I so, hear yeah. that you still play D&D &D with that same crew on Zoom. Is that true? I do. Wow. Yeah, Tell yeah. us about that. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> the nerd runs Exciting deep. stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, See, so you're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we were in the same game. Uh, second edition Dungeons and Dragons game since 1991. 
I am uh, playing a character. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's a, it's something that's made sense when you were 13, you know? So uh, he, he's like, part every dragon and a dwarf and an umber hulk and a beholder. And he's got these big giant bat wings and four arms. And it looks like Sam Keith drew him, but his name was Pax, which means peace in Latin. So like <laughs> uh, big tusks and stuff. Uh, and I made the character before I rolled the character, before I made the ca- like actually, you know, made the character sheet. Because before that, before meeting these guys in high uh-huh. school, I none of us could afford the books. We made, had a marble notebook that we wrote and uh-huh. used dice from an old sorry set, you know? So I'm there coming in. I'm going to make this thing cool. I rolled my highest roll was a 12. So uh-huh. I couldn't support my own weight. And uh, that was that character. Uh-huh. Uh, so I had to polymorph into an elf. So it was pretty lame. Not as cool as you'd think. Uh, besides that, I'm currently in a uh, like a White Wolf Vampire game, a Rifts game, which is just a bunch of math, uh, a Marvel game. Uh, I'm in a Spelljammer game with another group. That uh, is, you're is, busy. Yeah, there's, it, it's, you play every week? We cycle. We cycle uh-huh. from week to week. Got it, got but it. Uh, it's one of those things where um, when the pandemic happened yeah. and everybody started Zooming everywhere, yeah. we realized how easy it was. You know, So we got one guy up in uh, Seattle, uh-huh. another person's in Florida, and we've got upstate New York, New York, all over the place. Uh, someone's in Chicago at the time, yet we could coordinate and hang out the way that we did in the basement back then. So Aww. one of the small blessings that came from yeah. the terribleness that was the past couple of yeah. years is I think we all realize how easy it is to stay in touch that way. Yeah. And and so you had pretty much only been in L.A. for like two, three years when yeah, the yeah. pandemic hit. How did that affect how did that affect you at the time? Oh, um, I mean, it, the, the way that it affects everybody else. Um, there's some very kind, kind people in mm-hmm. our industry that put together. I don't know if you talked about this in the show mm-hmm. already. Um, put together like this, like 400 person Zoom call mm-hmm. to get everybody kind of up to snuff, sort of like standardized, so we can all keep working, keep paying the rent, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, thank the maker. I I was able to do that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> a lot of scrambling, a lot of uh, updating of your equipment. I think. They had to like tie the components to the murder bees, the fly them over to build the actual <laughs> solid state logics that eventually came over here. But, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, um, it's actually funny. Uh, just the voice acting thing. I've got the fancy uh, Apollo, whatever. Twin. What, yeah, the Apollo mm-hmm. twin. Whatever. Uh, but I use that by my desk to play D and D because I liked <laughs> <laughs> the solid state better, and it's just easier to kind of like ride the gain when you're doing stuff. And mm-hmm. I, I scream a lot. So, uh, so yeah. So that's a uh, it's a little fun. Fun thing there. The the thousand dollar one is just used to pretend to be a giant space hippo with a gun. Yeah. Yeah. And now everything's from home. Yeah. And so then you recently, except for what? Except for here. Except for this. We're back. This is new. We're out. We're back in action. Good. Fun. Yeah. Tagline for movie. We're we're back, Allie and Frank, back in action. (laughs) So I know everybody's probably dying to hear about your uh, brand new series on Netflix. It's been Mm. out, what, like about a month or maybe? Six oh, weeks? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Around that? It's, time, uh, time is an illusion. Time is, yeah. The Cuphead Show, <laughs> based on the hit video game franchise. The terribly hard, very difficult video uh, game I franchise. I think I saw some little, some like video <laughs> reels of you guys, oh, God, uh, yeah. you and True, trying to play it. Yeah. yeah. Trying Let's, is a good way to okay. put it. We're trying to really? play it. Uh, you want some old DVD extra background info on that? Yeah, please. So we sucked. <laughs> we were terrible. It got to the point where we kept dying so much and riffing uh-huh. off each other, but uh-huh. we were just riffing on dying. So they ended up playing a pre recorded thing of somebody else playing <laughs> and having us be like, hey, I'm like jumping now. It takes part of, you know, like <laughs> going around. Uh, and like, I think the clip that finally came out, like, there's something where I'm like, this is going to take Cracker Jack timing. I'm like, that was not. Like, when you actually see the screen, he's just like, uh-huh. like it's, uh, yeah, so we, we we're terrible. Oh, wow. But it's like, you know, you, you kind of want to keep playing. It's like, a, yeah, it's terrible. You keep losing, but it's, wonderful so you want to keep it's like being a Mets fan you know like you, you, you just it's there's a passion there you know yeah. and it's just so gorgeous the blame the, the game the game the game the blame I'm a voice the actor blade. Uh, the blame the blame uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah 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 that was a wow. real rambling answer how did Sorry. that how did that um come about that did you just audition had you heard of the material before yeah uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I, yes, I, I mean, I definitely, yes, yes, yes. Uh, definitely heard of it before. Uh-huh. Like I remember when they first started talking about it mm-hmm. on, online and, and revealing these like early images uh, following it. I remember sitting and from the game at my phone. Or yeah, from the game, yeah. from the game. Okay. Um, I found out about the show being made when I got the audition. Got it. Uh, from uh, shout out to Kathy. What's up, Kathy? Kathy. Uh, God. Uh, just a quick moment. Do you mind if I go inside? Please. Because we're at the same agency. Mm-hmm. Hey, when I came out here, I, uh, I said to myself, you know, besides like, you know, don't let it change it, et cetera, et cetera. You want to surround yourself with just kind people. Yeah. And gosh, you can do that in spades at, mm. uh, where we are. Yes, yes. Like everyone there, everyone who is there currently and the people that we, you know, very luckily got to work with yeah. uh, before they left. Uh, people in mind that I, that I when I say mm-hmm. that, uh, just the it's a rays of sunshine, you know? Yeah. Like really, really, like you can do it. You can do this and just stay kind. Surround yourself with kind people. Work 100%. with kind people. And, so important. Uh, Why would you want to be any other way? I think any other way is just coming from like old wounds and patterns that people have built and made into a part of their personality, you know? Yeah. Because it, that's absolutely not, <laughs> in my opinion, the way to be. We all make mistakes mm-hmm. and we all... You know, we're all human, but kindness, um, prioritizing that, I think is so important. Yeah, very much so. Well said. Yeah. Uh, and our industry, our little weird corner of the industry, yeah. uh, I feel like you're able to do that mm-hmm. even more so because yeah. just there's so many good people. I, I, there's so many stories of people that you've met like 10, 20 years ago yeah. that were just like nice to you and these things stick with you and you just kind of want to push that forward. And it's, uh, it is, is yeah, like something, something that if I think about it too hard, I'll tear up like a very, very amazing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Your friends can cry together, uh, <laughs> Frank. Feel free. It's not this over is yet. a safe space. Right, Mike? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I apologize for <laughs> making your mic soggy. Uh, but back to the question. Sorry about the tangent. Um, yeah, I got the audition uh, from Kathy. And, um, Had you worked with Sarah Sherman before? No, no. This Emmy Award winning Sarah Sherman. Was she a... was um, in a previous episode, too. <sighs> you want to talk about kindness? Yeah. Like, I. I, I, I joke that every time we have a session, it's like therapy. They're just like such nice Aww. people. Uh, her and Dave and Cosmo and uh, yeah. ev- everybody is yeah. a part of the show. Um, and the team at Out Loud. Just, mm. uh, and it's just wonderful. It's just like this kind of like awesome, like we're all a family team making this thing and helping. And I'm like a little, I'm like the, the oregano that you put on top. And like, huh. this is just, uh, just the it's right amazing. spice for the, yeah. for, the, for the meal. I get, it makes stew. Mm-hmm. Can't have a stew without, well, I guess you don't really put a regular. I'm the bay leaf. I'm the bay, bay leaf. leaf. That's, we were talking about beef One stew chunk. before this. Yeah. You want to just start talking? Never mind. Are we going beef stew? Yeah, we can. <laughs> so you take your Instapot. Beef stew. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, on the sides, uh, one of the suggestions they had put there was uh, Luke Costello. Okay. I'm a big fan of Abbott and Costello and things of the time period. God, I'm clicking a lot. Let me uh, do yeah, that. That's yeah. what it's here for. A nice. Uh, I, just, I feel bad for him. Herbal beverage. Um, and he kind of sounds similar to some of my family members, just because uh. I come from an Italian American family in uh-huh. New York, and there's a lot of little like idiosyncrasies that kind of match up with my grandmother and my uncle. In fact, if you watch the show, have you seen the show through? Which one? The cuphead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Many times. The uh, the eggplant bouncer. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Okay. That, you know, I was like, I'm not on the list. That, that guy. Uh, <laughs> that's my uncle George. You know, like Aww. that's these. There's all like little bits of my family that I got to got to throw in there because yeah. they're from that time period. Yeah. So the sentimentality of that is that now there's like little chunks of my family that's going around the world. The people wow. are watching and like Timbuktu and like you know they're. That's that's my grandma. This yeah. Part of Mugman. It's kind of fun. You've created you know? this essence. Yeah. It's Wait. Neat. When you read, did you just read for Mugman or did you read for both? I read for all of them. You read for all of them. I read for them. all of them. Yeah. Uh, and like, good Lord, uh, the people that got cast in those other roles yeah. are perfect. Yeah. They're perfect. And like. Did you resonate more with Mugman? Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. I'm, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, a little nerdy. <laughs> I don't know. But the, uh, I don't know. Confirmed. 1950s <laughs> missile command glasses uh fool you but uh <laughs> i uh yeah yeah so there's definitely especially 
with episodes that haven't come out yet. Mm -hmm. Like in the next drop, there's some that I'm like, oh, yeah, I relate a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Meaning a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to Mugman. So, but, uh, yeah. yeah. And so then was there, did you have a callback or did the voice change much from the first? Yeah. yeah. We did have a callback. Um, we had a callback that involved singing. Oh. And I had done like an eight hours uh, eight hours of just like monster noises the day before. So I do oh a lot of creature stuff. Yeah. So like I woke up sounding like Tone Loke, like Funky Cole Medina, oh. and I'm like, oh God, am I going to mess this up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, so I go there and pff, like I was saying, they're just the nicest people in the mm -hmm. world. Super mm -hmm. complimentary. Are, I you sang... good, are you a singer? Is that? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah used to, I used to be in a bunch of mm -hmm. crappy garage bands and stuff mm -hmm. back in the day. Emphasis on the crappy. Let's cut to the tape. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, this was before. Like, we're still you know, learning how to use the wheel and stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, they were just super kind. I had to sing Ain't She Sweet as Mugman. And Let's hear it. <laughs> Ain't she sweet? Just a walking down that street. Oh yeah. Uh, ask very confidentially. Ain't she sweet? Don't you cast your eyes in my direction. Oh, oh me oh my. Oh me oh my. Ain't that perfection? Oh yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> so something like that, uh, only in my mind because I had just, you know, done this. You know, I didn't know what I actually sounded uh, like. Yeah, and like yeah, I'm yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> so like I walked up like, I don't know what happened, but I they were really nice and I want to work with them because they're nice people. And a good while later, I got the call that uh, I was the mug man. Yeah. Whoa. That was it. Congratulations. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. It's such a fun show. Thanks. Had you worked, did you and True record together? You and True Valentino? Once. Only once? Just once. We did. Okay. And this is like a testament to Sarah. Yeah. Right? Uh, there's no way that you would watch that show and not think that we were all like sitting in a room together, right. riffing off each other. Right. right. Because of her direction. Mm. And it's amazing. Like, some, especially with something that's so quick. Like the show is very quick witted and there's a lot of like back and forth and stuff. Like when they're yeah. walking through the graveyard, like I want to live here. I love this place. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. We were not in the same room together. And then half of these things that we did through the pandemic too, like we were, yeah. I was in a box with no pants on. Like this is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're allowed to wear them. <laughs> <laughs> optional no, actually, i'm actually a weirdo like for zoom calls i put shoes on just like for the mentality of it like, oh it's a, it's a very mm. strange interesting shoes but pattern. no pants no no yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> i mean look. you can't see me from the waist down right <laughs> well mm. it's uh, not in the two shot <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so fun yeah, yeah and so what is the what is the reaction been from some of the fans and everything, it seems it's like people are loving it. They 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 love it as much as I do. Yeah, and that's uh, that's all you can ask for. Uh, yeah. I think the best fan reaction uh, was my godson and his sister learning all the lyrics to the theme song, and their mother sending me a video of the two of them. Uh, you know, come with me to the Quail Isle, uh, <laughs> and that's it. Uh, so Chris and Clara, what's up? Uh, yeah, that was pretty uh, cool. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, he's 27, but no, he's, oh. he's seven, <laughs> seven years old. Seven okay. Years old, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. yeah. Um, <clears throat> wow, that's so amazing. And so mm. and any reports of the future when we're going to get new episodes or? I think there's another drop this summer. Ooh. I think there's another drop this summer. Yeah, Very yeah. exciting. Well, we'll be standing by for that. My son loves that show. It's a good one. They have so many um, options with uh, television these days. Mm. You know, if they are watching multiple episodes, I feel like it's always a good, it's a yeah. good sign. Oh, gosh, yeah. And when mom can kids. watch them with them, that's always great. That's that's the, the best part of the show is that you fight less over the remote control. or well, remote. I don't think anybody uses the remote control to change channels anymore. Oh, really? You fight less over the smartphone because everybody, there's something for everybody. What, yeah. are, what are you, you use to change the channel then? Like Clapper? You're, you're, I don't know, your mental <laughs> carry waves <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Um. Yeah, so in addition to Cuphead, um, you also were on a, a handful of uh, shows for Transformers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Including um, tra Transformers Prime Wars trilogy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was your first Transformers show? It, so it was, but mm -hmm. 
technically uh but here, here here's the other dvd extra uh i did a voice for because this is technically canon like you know when you're starting out you did a bunch of fan dubs and stuff so i did some of the fan dubs yeah. online this is 20 years yeah. ago you know john about. bailey uh yes he Very was he was similar. in some of those yeah oh you guys were uh, yeah working there's together a couple of couple of guys that are out now mm -hmm. here did those fan dubs back in the day too uh wow. daniel ross was one of them yeah oh, uh wow. brad brad venable uh it's no longer with us. Uh, <laughs> I, I was in one fan dub with him where uh, he played uh, um, Star Saber, and I was Victory Leo, mm -hmm. and I transformed into his pants, basically. There's because that's what Transformers do. Um, but yeah, the first like official official canon one yeah. was it was this really quick uh, like prequel to Beast Wars that was done for Botcon, but through Hasbro okay. using the designs okay. of the actual toys. Uh, and he was in that too. So how um, did they cast for that? It was the guy who made it cast uh -huh. me on his like first draft. So he, it was uh, kind through of like a multi falcon. Um, just from back in the, this is the pre YouTube days. <laughs> this oh, okay. Is, yeah, this so, was, uh, mm -hmm. so through your agency or? No, through? no. This is just through because I've been in the fandom for ah, forever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I, I literally met family members through Transformers conventions and stuff through the 90s. That's, a, that's became, another story. Fam, they became family members? No actual family members. That's how crazy it is. It's <laughs> like, you know, you're on like MIRC and like so everybody's got the little handles. My mom looks over my shoulder. It's like, oh, maybe they related to your Uncle Tercy. I'm like, no one uses their real name on the internet, mom, because that's what <laughs> happened back then. And uh, yeah, it turns out like we met at like, what was it? Uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana at a convention what? and now it's like one of my favorite family members. She's like a sister to me. Rose Tercy. Hello. How are you? Hey, Rose. Yeah. Thanks like, for tuning uh, in. Nutty, she had us right? your friend. Yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, they knew, you, so you knew you were really involved in the Transformers yeah, community yeah, yeah. and then the producer reached out, hey, I just need a couple quick voices. Can you help yeah, me out? Yeah, and I did uh, I did sort of like the, um, it was like a Maltese Falcon sort of thing. Uh -huh. uh, I did one of the voices in that. Uh, has nothing to do with whatever's happening today, but like David Cade played Megatron. So I'm like, I'm in the scene with David. And he's like the nicest man in the what? world, too. Because uh, I, God, I love Beast Wars. Love yeah. Beast Wars. Um, but That's yeah, so Prime exciting. Wars. You'll have to let me know because now I'm in the new um, Transformers oh, Beyond Reality VR so game cool. and doing a couple of voices there. So um, That's awesome. that would be, I want to go to these cons and, and join you there and see see what the crowd is like. Oh, absolutely. Um, well, so, who exactly are you playing, or can you say that yet? Uh, I'm playing Windblade. Windblade? Really yeah. An auto bottle. Well, a Kami Camino in Camino, whatever it's called. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. We'll have to fly one day together. Thanks, Frank. We'll go in formation. Well, there's only two of us. We'll invite someone well, else. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll just use our hands. Oh, yes. Formation. Formation. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how did so you then you started doing this little thing and then yeah. how did it was this were you still actively doing VO at the time or yeah, was this kind yeah. of one of your first? Yeah, okay. this was this was uh, in New York. I mean, in New York, early on, like nothing too sexy. A lot of like medical journals with words that have seventeen syllables <laughs> and stuff. You know what you do when you're especially when you're starting out. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, yeah, this was back uh, back then. Yeah. Um, but then, then years later, uh, Prime Wars. Yeah. Prime Wars wow. was the first. How did like, that? What was the story behind that? Gosh, story. Story. That was the story. <laughs> A young Obama was in the White House. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. The uh, the story there is uh, well, I auditioned for this thing, and uh, uh, Eric Calderon is the uh, showrunner. Oh, right and, on. Uh, yeah. Just the baby. Yeah, he did. A very, very adorable mm, little so baby cute. named Sonny. Uh, well, I think I can say the name of a baby on this thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so he called me. I was living in Queens That's at the time cool. still. He, he called me basically to give me the bad news that he's probably not going to be able to use me, but he didn't know what he wanted. And I was in Stop and Shop on Metropolitan Boulevard and uh, Metropolitan Avenue in the middle of Forest Hills, Queens. Uh -huh. So I, like, I got to go uh, to talk in the parking lot. I'll be right back, right? So I left my poor girlfriend in the, uh -huh. in the park and in the thing. And I'm and standing next to her. still haven't found her yet. Yeah. Well, she's still, still roaming around somewhere in the frozen That's food her. section. It's, uh, if anyone sees her. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I go out and I'm standing next to a dumpster. And he's like, you know, I don't really know what I want. He's not. He, he doesn't sound like the G1 guy. Was, Did you ever see Game of Thrones? You know, who Varys is? And we just start going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Uh, and I'm making new voices. And he's like, oh, my God, that's it. So he gets off the phone. 
gets back on the phone with uh, FJ, who is the showrunner of the Netflix series, right? Okay. Who also worked on those series. Yeah, yeah. FJ DeSanto, wonderful human being. Uh, and we're talking back and forth, talking back and forth. That night I was cast. The next morning I was on a plane, and the next day I was recording for <gasps> my first session in uh, Burbank at Bang Zoom. So, and I, this is way before I what? moved. So That is a crazy yeah. story. Exactly, right? Uh, what if they hadn't found you? I, luckily, I picked up the phone when I was, you know. Right? I think I was picking up a brisket at the time. And that's, just, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I love brisket now. Uh, <laughs> who doesn't? Who, who doesn't, right? Gosh, you've heard of the swinging door and brisket. Brisket's delicious stuff. No, wait. Uh, very good. Right I could get some brisket after this. Yes, you know, should, we, should we get some brisket? <laughs> brisket party. Uh, <laughs> it's like Miss Maisel here. Uh, so, and then, uh, speaking of dumpsters. <laughs> I was in uh, where the old Toys R Us is. There's the Aww, Queens coming out yep. over here. Yeah, no, yep. right? Of course you were. Pour yep. some herbal tea out. Uh -huh. It's just, just herbal tea. It's not it's scotch at not. all. So uh, I was at the old Toys R Us parking lot back when that was Toys R Us. And that's when I got the call from FJ yeah. being like, hey, I want you to come back for Starscream for a new show on Netflix. So, good things happen next to dumpsters. Dude, I'm going to go hang next out to by a dumpster and see. <laughs> it's gonna, either going to be a dumpster fire or a dumpster hire. That's weird. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. fun. Thank you for having me. Yes. Sorry oh, Frank, rambling. it's been, I mean, we have uh, to end on that, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. Keep going um, if you want. Oh, well, it's been so great. I don't want to keep you too much past your time, but this uh, has been such a great interview. And um, I'm looking forward to The Vampire Dies in No Time Season oh, 2. Oh, yes. And I uh, hope you guys all catch it, uh, catch it out. Funny story about Vampire Dies in No Time is um, I, try, I showed an episode to my son, and I was like, oh, this is not for children. Yeah. Not, yeah. For, not for little children. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's a bit spicy, guys. I'm going to say oh. that. Spicy, is that her? Yeah, yeah. You would it's describe? Like there's sriracha some, spicy. It's not sriracha. like too much, but yeah. it's like, yeah. Yeah. It's, like no, it's like flavorful spicy. It's very flavorful. You know? it's, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of um, a kick. Mm. A kick, a kick, yeah. a kick. <laughs> like, like a mule, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um, but it's been so great having oh, you, you, and congratulations on Cuphead. Congratulations on Transformers. Thank you. And I hope we get to work together again soon. Gosh, I hope so. Okay, thanks, guys. If you made it this long, then you deserve a prize. <laughs> um, if you're checking out the live stream, because that is my intention, that I am chatting with you right now on the live stream. Ooh, super meta. Um, the first person to type in uh, Frank's, the correct spelling of Frank's last name, is going to win a poster, an autographed poster. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and um, share this with your friends. Okay, see you next time. Bye.